On March 21, U.S. President Donald Trump formally announced the decision to enter into a contract with Boeing to create the Next Generation American Fighter under the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, program. The U.S. Air Force displayed two computer-generated renderings of the future fighter, and he announced the new aircraft's name, F-47, for the first time. These pictures give a broad concept of how the airplane would seem from the front, but they also hide several crucial design elements. Let's talk about the name first. General David Alvin, Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, said several variables played a role in the designation of the F-47. First, he said it is a tribute to the P-47 Thunderbolt, a fighter that helped achieve air superiority during World War II in a historic contribution. Furthermore, it serves as a reminder that the U.S. Air Force emerged in September 1947, having transitioned from the U.S. Army Air Forces. General Alvin added that the aircraft's name honors the 47th President of the United States, decisive support for the creation of the first sixth-generation fighter in history. This final aspect seems to have been the decisive one. The public has received very little official material, leaving the NGAD program largely unknown. It is expected that the fifth-generation Lockheed Martin F-22A Raptor will eventually be replaced by the new fighter, which will work closely with teams of unmanned aerial vehicles known as the Collaborative Combat Aircraft. The total purchase will include at least 200 of these aircraft. The F-47 is anticipated to achieve much longer range, enhanced stealth, and more flexibility against future threats at a lower cost than the F-22, as General Alvin said on Friday. For about a decade, the United States has been researching the NGAD program. Boeing, which continues to manufacture modernized versions of the F-15 and F-18 fighters, Northrop Grumman, which is conducting flight tests and preparing for serial production of the B-21 strategic bomber, and Lockheed Martin, which produced the F-22 until 2011 and currently manufactures the fifth-generation F-35 and has recently resumed production of the F-16, were the three largest American companies specializing in the development and production of combat aircraft, and they all submitted their proposals for the sixth-generation fighter. Later on, though, Northrop Grumman decided to withdraw from the multi-billion dollar contract. In a dramatic announcement in September 2020, Assistant Secretary William Roper of the U.S. Air Force said that a full-scale NGAD flying demonstration had already been built and was being tested. Claims surfaced in the summer of 2023, suggesting that the U.S. Air Force was testing several NGAD technology demonstrations in extreme secrecy. Trump referred to an experimental variant of the F-47 that has been undergoing secret testing for almost five years in his statement on Friday. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, released a press release stating that Boeing and Lockheed Martin produced two experimental aircraft under DARPA contracts to evaluate technical solutions and lower risks for the NGAD program. Since their initial flights in 2019 and 2022, these aircraft have amassed hundreds of flight hours apiece. The photos released Friday may show a Boeing design or an idea based on the demonstrator's technical solutions. What initial assumptions can be made regarding the F-47's potential appearance? The lifting body of the airplane, with its characteristic ribbing on the nose section, is the first thing that catches the eye. Although the wings, including the forward stabilizers, are positioned at a considerable dihedral angle and may have downward bent wingtips, it looks to be planned in a canard configuration with forward horizontal stabilizers. There are no vertical stabilizers visible in the pictures. Boeing, and before that, McDonnell Douglas, which merged with Boeing in 1997, tried such design solutions on several experimental aircraft developed and built by its Phantom Works branch in St. Louis. These include two prototypes of the experimental X-45A unmanned combat aircraft, which flew 64 times between 2002 and 2005. The Bird of Prey, also called the YF-118G, which had a gullwing design and no stabilizers at all, which completed 38 flights between 1996 and 1999, and the small, tailless X-36 UAV, which conducted 33 test flights in 1997 to 1998.
The F-47 will likely install next-generation engines developed under the Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion Program. The experimental XA-102 and XA-103 engines, which are competing designs from GE Aerospace and Pratt & Whitney, have an adaptive three-stream layout that increases cruise fuel efficiency by at least 20%. It is anticipated that the F-47's development timeframe will be greatly shortened through the use of the most recent digital design technology and virtual testing in conjunction with the expertise gathered from actual testing of experimental prototypes and flight demonstrators. According to reports, prototype fighter planes ought to go through testing during Trump's present term, which is the next four years. Now, do you think Russia, China, and Europe will have sixth-generation aircraft in the similar timelines? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.